uh, you create the Minnie Mouse letters, Mickey Mouse letter, and uh, silhouette. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial um, on how you do that. So I'm going to do my niece's name. Her name is Riley. Uh, there may be days where y'all hear me have Riley. And if you just want to do something, you know, you don't want to have to do the whole alphabet. You just want to do a couple of letters, uh, just a name or so on and so forth. You know, you, this is the quickest way to do it. So I type out her name. And you want to pick a good bold font. Um, this is my favorite go-to. It's Impact, uh, but I have some other other ones that I can go to if, if that's what I want to do. Um, also have let me duplicate this. Um, another one of my favorites, and I think that that'll make a really cute. We're gonna do both. We're gonna do both. This is called Love Letters, and it has like the hearts cut in it. So we're gonna do both. So the first thing you do after you type out their type out their name is you switch it to black. Okay, you switch you switch the letters to black because we're gonna have a black background. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. We're gonna work on these together and then I'll put them on the mat. So then I'm gonna duplicate both of these. I'm gonna try to do them simultaneously, but more than likely I'm gonna work on one and then I'm gonna work on the other. So okay, we'll do the. We'll do the, um, the, the full, just the all black one, not one with all, all the hearts in it. Okay. So the first thing I do is I slice, I find my center point and I hold down the shift key. Cause if you hold down the shift key, it'll give you a straight line. Like even if I go up and down, it's going to remain straight. So, and then I slice it there and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. You see, it's clean slice through Bradley. So I'm going to group these together because you can do it however you want to. You can do the top part or the bottom part. Most often we see the bottom part, so I'm just going to do that. Then you go into, uh, you can go to Google and you can look up red polka dot. I was hoping it was, if I could spell. Background. And then you can choose whichever red polka dot background you want. We're gonna go ahead. That one's the best one, but of course, as you see, this is like the top row is always like where you buy stuff. So I'm just gonna grab one down here. It says deposit photos. That's the perfect one. Just copy the image and paste it here. Paste it in. And then we're gonna zoom out a little bit. And then we're gonna enlarge the picture, enlarge the background a little bit. I'll drop it down a bit bring the half of the name that you're doing to the front and I'm gonna go ahead and do the top and the bottom so you can see bring to the front so you can see which you know which either one would look like and the reason why I'm trying to make it a little smaller because the, the smaller you make it the more dots you'll get into your crop does that make sense like if you make it larger then you don't get as many dots into your crop okay so we're going to go to the modify panel and we're just gonna crop that out okay and then let me show you what I mean so once we group this back together and you sit this on top of that you have made the Mickey Mouse letters. That's it. Minnie Mouse letters. If you want to go so far as to do a uh, do mini bow, I don't know why I can't type the right. Find you find you a Minnie Mouse bow in Google. I think I have one already, but I'm just gonna pull one. You can make it yourself, or you can pull one. If you want to make it yourself, let, let me show you how to make it yourself. Because say you want it to match the exact uh, polka dot that you have. This is a good one. There we go. Copy image. And I know you're like, oh, well, Melanie, you see the checkerboard in the background. It doesn't matter. We don't care. We're going to go to the trace panel and we're going to trace by color. You click the red because that's all you want. You only want the red. And you 
adjust the tolerance level and then hit trace and then there you go and so that same polka dot let me go back and google i love google because you can go back that same polka dot that you had copy image and paste now you can have the matching bow bring to the front sit that on top now we're going to crop that now you have the matching cropped mini bow and you can sit that on top of your letters if you want to create a bow on your letters and it has the bow and like i say you can swap it out you don't have to do the top you I mean you don't have to do the bottom you can do the top there you go and now you have the top portion being um, the polka dot at the top but you know most often you see it like like this and then you add the bow on the top of that let me group this and sit it off to the side and we're and we're done that is that is how you create the Mickey the Minnie Mouse letters and you could do and it's quick with it. Like, you don't have to do, I mean, you can do a whole sentence in less than two seconds with doing that. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. And let's pick another color polka dot. So again, let me zoom in before I do this so you guys can see it. So I um, take the knife tool, hit the shift key, and I don't want to cut that, that my uh, I know you guys can't see it because this was in the way but you see I didn't want to cut the hearts at the bottom I think I nipped that one a little bit but that's okay but you see it totally cut that sliced that in half group all the top part together group it we're gonna move that out of the way and then group all the bottom part together group it let's go find pink polka dot So you want to do pink polka dot letters. You don't want to do red. You do pink polka dot. Whichever color pink you want. Hot pink, light pink, whatever. Whatever you choose. Yeah, you know, you can do pink polka dot with pink with yellow polka dots. You can do whatever your whatever you like. Let's let's do that. Let's do pink with yellow polka dots. Copy image. Paste. into the back crop it and look at there isn't that just cute send to the back and look at that and what if you say oh no I don't want it black but I, I like it but I don't want the black I want it another color teal isn't that cute cutie cutie whatever your heart desire is you don't have to choose what i have you can pick whatever you want and make the background that color and do some other things and make it whatever you like to make but this is how you make the mini mouse letters and i think so people can mini mouse letters so you guys can kind of see what i mean and this is what people are selling on Etsy. And if you want to, like I say, and you add the bow to the top, you have completely, you have done that. You have done that. Um, you see this? Oh, say you don't want to do it. I mean, I don't feel like doing all that work. I don't want to do that. Then find it online. I use, uh, my go-to is PEG Egg or uh, PNG Barn. Those are the ones that you can download. But this one looks pretty good. PNG item. And you click download. And then it tells you to wait. And then you download it. And there you go. And there it goes in the bottom of my screen right here. And then let's go. Let's go back to Silhouette. And you're like, oh my God, Melon, really? And then you say merge. And then you go to downloads. And then there it is. In PNG with the bow. And you didn't have to do any work. 
but if you want to create these yourself and have you know functionality over what colors it are what colors they are and you know different things like that then this is what this is how you do it and it's quick and simple guys it really is one of the quickest things and you can do this for any letters if you don't want if, if you want these um metallic pink you don't have to do polka dot pick what you want look at that you see the the texture in that paste and then check this out bring it to the front Up. There you go. Now, now you have it where if you want to layer this in vinyl, you have it layered in vinyl. If you want, to, you can layer it in vinyl. If you want to print and cut this, you can print and cut this. You can, because uh, all you, it's all you would do is say uh, convert the path. And when you get ready, it say you you say, oh well, I want to print and and cut this, but I don't want, you know, I don't want to uh, have to layer it. I want it to print exactly the way that it is. I want to cut it just like it is. So this is what you do. Um, you there's three ways to do this. What, or maybe I sh or maybe I shouldn't say three ways. Maybe I should say two ways. There's two ways to do this. I am an off. I love offsets, so I probably would add an offset. Um, let me tell you why I would add an offset. Because if you add an offset, then you see here. Let me see. Can I zoom in? Let me see. Can I uh, do this little thing here with this that I've been dying to use <laughs> and I haven't used it yet? Oh. Oh wait, wait. This is in the way. So okay, there we go. So you see right here, now it's joined together. And when you peel it from the mat, you may have to scoop the B and the R over a little closer. When you peel it up, it's one thing, and then you have an offset. So let me pull this, let me, let me stop this, let me stop the spotlight. Okay, wonderful tool. Um, so you may have to move your B and your R just a little bit closer so you can do it all together and then check this out so say for instance you have a couple of colors you want to use we're going to group that together and then we say uh let's pick a prettier color uh, that's super duper bright but it's it's gonna do it's it's giving you the vibe that i'm trying to give you so say that there's the colors that you want to incorporate now you have an offset that you can cut it's going to be one when you peel it up you can use and you use dark transfer this is where my dark transfer comes in that um, any type of dark transfer you use um, whatever's your favorite and then you peel this up at one time and it's not trying to peel the the B peel each letter up and then try to get it all straight on the shirt no you can peel this up at one time one peel is going to print with that textured look that you see here um, you see here where it has like little bit bits of white if you leave that in there so let me pull it down you see that if you leave that in there then the machine is going to try to cut that so what I do is release compound path and I move are they there okay wait <laughs> release compound path and ungroup there you go you see all the little boxes those are the extra little pieces that group now group it back together those little pieces that it will try to cut if you leave those in there so you f get all of those out of there throw, throw them away you don't need them slide this back behind now when you go to cut when you go to cut print and cut you see now it has all your lines look this is what I do I say no cut on all of it on all of it so you make sure you don't do it and then you pick the piece that you want and you say cut there you go that's it a cut edge 
and that's all that's going to cut. It's not going to cut the blue. It's not going to cut the pink. You don't even have to worry about it. So let's say you don't want an offset. You want it just like this. Then you go into sin, you do the same exact thing. You got no cut on that, but you tell it to cut just that part. So now it's gonna print this. Turn the registration marks on. You have to have your mat on in order to set your registration mark. So let's just say you have letter size. And like I said, I'm working out a silhouette. I don't know anything about Cricut. Um, I turn it sideways because I want it. I want it big. Say I want it big across the back. Um, probably it's a three T. It probably won't be eleven inches unless it, it may be because I may do it down the leg of a, down her pant leg or something like that. So I may do it that big. So you have to have your mat turned on. You tell it what size paper that you want. You turn on your registration marks. The first thing I do is change the inset because that gives me a greater area to print and cut in so that means i can start from this red line and pull it all the way down to this red line and that gives me as you can see i get 10 inches out of this i get 10 full inches where i think um silhouette is i mean cricket is like 8.6 or something like that i get full 10 inches i have done five x shirts with this i had to break it up into pieces but i was able to get a five x shirt done because of this before I discovered 11 by 17 paper um so uh that's how you do that and then like I said you go over to the send menu and you tell it you just want it to cut the blue part and you want it and it's gonna print and cut just the blue part and it's not even gonna pick register the pink part just the blue and that's it and it's not gonna cut with an offset it's gonna look exactly like that when it cuts I never cut with auto blade I always cut a ratchet blade and as you see here I type in heat and um, silhouette already has dark transfer already saved as one of the materials you can use you can add your own materials you can change the cut settings but I don't I change my blade I drop my blade down to like seven I leave it there ratchet blade and I let the uh, force I let it change the force I never change the position of the blade I just don't see the point as long as your force is not too hard the position of the blade is fine um so uh, that is it that is how you make that that is how you cut that you can um like, like you saw on the other one you can add bows across the top if you want all the way across the top if you want to um for briley for for my baby i probably would just do something uh like we do a tiara you know how you do a tiara and you just kind of throw it across the top of the whole thing i probably would do that just dump the whole bow across the top <laughs> across the top of the uh across the top of the, the the bow that's probably what i would do and just give it give it that look um but yeah or something like this or drop it down make it small but yeah i would i would probably finagle it in some kind of way like that or cross both these and tilt it and if i was doing it for my baby that's what i would be doing and yes she's my baby even though she's my niece she's my baby but like i said if you don't if you don't feel like doing all that work you could just as well find it on in on google or png egg you can trace and detach it just the way that it is increase the threshold color you want everything to be yellow you want it to all be completely yellow trace and detach and now you can go let me show you how it looks when you send it so now boom and that's that it'll cut around that and you can just find what you look whatever letters you're looking for you can just find it if you don't want to make it I like to make my own SVGs because then if I want to use vinyl I can layer my vinyl um, on top of it and, and then it's my SVG file forever and in order to create SVG files you have to have the business edition of um, studio but yeah that's how you do that and you know thank you guys I, that was just a quick video i had somebody requested how to do it 
I just want to stop in really quickly and show you how to do that. If you have any questions, link, um, put it in the put it in the comments. Um, uh, I'll show you. Oh wait, oh my gosh, I got this up on the screen. Um, any anything else you guys want to know? Please be sure to ask me. Be sure to like and subscribe below. I want to get my YouTube channel up so I when I and get my numbers up because when I do, I'm gonna start. Um, I'm going to start giving away free stuff that I make because I make a lot of stuff. I'm a craft hoarder and I want to start giving some of this stuff away that I've just made and just kind of thrown in the corner because I just want to make it and I didn't necessarily want to sell it. So I want to be, you know, you know, give it to you guys for supporting me and watching my videos and things of that nature. So till next time, guys.